Hey everyone, welcome back to another Dwarf Fortress video. Finally, after a while, I couldn't really make a video last week because I just had midterms and I've been really busy with guys. Sorry about that. But anyway, in this episode, like I mentioned last time, we're gonna get into the military, which you're gonna need to if you want to defend your fort. But you know, I mean, you don't need them if you're really good with traps, but they're really fun, so why not? So to start off, off screen, I built some barracks for our first squad and I got another one ready for another later one. I'll just put in the last few things which is a weapon rack and some containers which you go to the mason shop and they're called coffers. I really don't know what that is but it's pretty much like a little chest but made of stone. So in case you're wondering what's inside the barracks is we just have some beds we want at least one for each person in the squad. An armor and weapon rack and about two coffers should be good. So then just like making a bedroom, you make it a bedroom. Oh actually wait, we'll do that after. First we gotta actually create the military, so I was looking off screen with Dwarf Therapist and if you go to the military tab you can see who's most skilled. So I made uh squad one one, I made the names organized, is gonna be our main leader because he obviously has the most skill. And then I just pick some other people that aren't really too important. And that's what you want to do. You want to just look for whoever has the biggest and most squares. So back here, we just, to appoint our leader, we just go to N for the nobles. And we go over to the militia commander. We hit enter and we pick whoever you named, squad 1-1. One, one. So now that we have that, we can hit M for the military tab. And now that we have a militia commander, we hit C to create a squad. Just give them uh, metal armor because you could make it out of leather, but it's really not as good as metal. So we got metal, and automatically it comes with the military commander, and then all these available. You could have up to ten in one squad, but I like to keep them no bigger than five, just that then it's easier to like manage them. So now we'll just find the rest of the squads. Squad one, two, and squad one, three, and one more, I think. So these guys are all gonna use battle axes like I said. So now that they're in a squad, if we go back to the barracks and hit Q and go over it, hit R to make bedroom. Just like that. Now instead of making a dormitory, you can hit B to make it a barracks. And so on like right here you'll see all the squads. Right now we only have one. And you could you once you have more than one you'll be able to select them with plus or minus. But we're gonna want them to train here, to sleep here. Uh, to do individual training and squad exercise. So just hit all them T Z I Q and it'll say what they're doing here. So basically what's gonna happen is whenever they're on duty and it's not they're not like uh, fighting anything, they're gonna spend most of their time in here, like sparring with each other and the leader's gonna show them drills and stuff. And it'll just pretty much get all these squares bigger so when they do fight they're more likely to survive. So now if you want to get into things more advanced you just go back to M. And if we go to S for schedule, you can see all year round that they just gotta train, 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 train. So that's not exactly how you wanna do it. So the months in Dwarf Fortress are named after like random minerals. So granite, I guess, is January, sleep is February. But for now, just get, look past that. And if you can see right here, it says train minimum, uh, train 10 minimum. That means that they want at least 10 people in the squad ready to train before they start actually doing anything but obviously there's not that many people so if you hit E we'll just do it for the first month to edit the order if you use plus or minus we can lower the minimum we'll, lower, we'll put it down to three since we only have four people that way in case someone's not ready they can still go so over for train so shift enter to finish that now what we can do is if we hit C that copies that order and then we just highlight over the other months and see all these other months still have 10 minimum, but if we go over it, P, 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 for all of them, and yeah, it's all of them, and now that means they're all ready, but again, they can be training all year round, which is not something we want, so if we edit this order, we have, oh, there's a whole bunch of different things, so actually no, we don't edit it, what we do is we just cancel order, so now they're just gonna like relax and go back to the normal jobs. So we'll hit copy that, and then we'll do it. They'll be on schedule every two months. 
so yeah, two months of training and then a break a month. Because if they're on too much, if they train too much, then they're gonna start getting sad. We don't want to make them sad. So now, hopefully, they'll start pick up their equipment. And like I said, at the metalsmith forge, you just forge uh, weapons and armor. I just quickly made some battle axes, but I should also pick some armor. So for armor, I only have iron. Uh, breastplates are good, and some helmets. So that should be good armor for now. So let's see where they are right now. Smoke and ore. Hmm. That's alright, if we go to S for A, we hit A, and then we do T. Yeah, S goes to the squad menu, and then all your squads will have a letter them. So we hit A to select that squad, and we hit T to make them start uh, training. So now, it just said that he became a wrestler, so here's one of them, here's another. And now what they're doing is just the storing items. Okay, they're waiting for a fighting demonstration, so after that demonstration, they're going to have more experience at fighting. So let's see, if we hit... I no no not I okay V and then we look we can go to I for their inventory and see what they're holding and, yep he has his battle axe in his hand so since they have their weapons ready let me show you how you can use it so on the map there's some capybaras and we can go attack them so we hit S again and have it selected and you can select multiple ones if you want to attack you get K for an attack order. And then you hit L for a list, there's a whole bunch of targets. So we'll kill a capybara, enter, give order, and now you should see they're gonna go out and start chasing it. So there they are. Try to follow them. There he goes. Oh, they're getting scared. Yeah, obviously they're still a little novice at this, so they're not gonna be too effective. Oh, there, he got him. So, as you can see, that just killed him, and this could be an okay with it, way to train, but then you're gonna lose a lot of guys really fast. So, we, obviously, after he killed it, we gotta cancel the order, so let's just hit O to cancel it, and then they'll go back to training. So, that was pretty easy, and that's the basics of the military. Uh, later on, I'll get into more elaborate ways to manage your military and expand what you can do. But that just gives you the basic idea, idea of how to defend your fort early on. Or about a little bit after the beginning game. So I hope you guys learned a lot. And that we're going to finish on somebody being taken by a mood. So have a great day everyone.